Hi guys, it's Jessie here. Today we're gonna watch the Mandarin speaking scene from the movie Arrival. I've heard of it but haven't watched it. I'm ready to be surprised or confused. I don't know. Let's just get started. What did I say? Wow, it's really intense. I like the pace. She's probably gonna speak Mandarin to him, right? Wait a minute. Is he calling the man from earlier? That's apparently not his voice. You can tell too, right? The man on the phone sounds a lot younger. He said, Wei, ni shi shei. Well, a little bit faster. Wei, ni say, Hello, who are you? You can say this when picking up a phone, but I feel like it's kind of rude. I personally have never said that when picking up a film. You can just say Wei, which means hello. Well, this character is actually the falling tone, Wei. But when picking up a film, we say Wei, the rising tone, Wei. Or you can say Wei, ni hao, ni hao also means hello. Or you can say Wei, na wei, Wei, na wei. Hello, who is it? This is much more polite than Wei ni say because you don't know who you're talking to yet. Maybe it's your clients, maybe it's your boss. You might want to sound polite. Oh, by the way, Wei is perfectly acceptable for saying hello when picking up a phone. Everybody says it, but not for face-to-face -face conversations. It's extremely rude. Unless you guys are best friends, of course, you can say whatever you want. Otherwise, I would avoid saying that. Okay, let's back to the clip. I haven't heard this man speak Mandarin yet. Does he speak with Taiwan accent? Because the voice on the film speaks with Taiwan accent. Maybe we'll see later. Let's go on. You told me my wife's dying words. Zhang Jun. Okay. Okay, that's decent. That's good. I'm impressed. She said, Jiang Jun, I That was quite clear, and most of the tones are on point as well. You can see this actress actually put some efforts into these lines. I don't care if it was recorded on site or adopted later, probably adopted later, but. That was good. And this time I'm also impressed by the translations here because they probably had English lines first and then got someone to translate them into Chinese, right? Um, most of the time it's really cringy. You know, it's translated, but it sounds really weird. But not this time. These lines are really good. First of all, Jiang Jun means general. It also means to checkmate in Chinese chess. Second of all, look how they translated wife. I've made a video before, like a long time ago, explaining different ways to say wife in Chinese, at least 10 of them, and out of them all, Fu Ren is the formal way and it fits the context here. The more casual way people say every day is Lao Po, and imagine if she said, Ni Lao Po Gei Wo Tuo Meng Le. That would be kind of weird. Third of all, the phrase Tuo Meng is very authentic. It doesn't just mean you dreamed of someone. It means someone, um, usually someone who passed away, so their spirits or the gods um, appear in your dream to send you a message or make a request. So everything in this scene is perfect. <laughs> Okay, I didn't get that. Not just her, but neither of them. He said, I have no idea what that means. And now I heard him, he doesn't speak with Taiwan accent at all. So that hello who is it on the film was definitely not his voice. Why did they get someone to dub the voice for him though? Here's my theory. I think they didn't plan this line when filming, but then they realized they needed it when editing. But by that time, the actor who played the general was not there anymore. So they got someone else to do this for him, just a random guy. They thought, mm, it's just a hello, nobody can tell, who will notice? Just a theory though. Found the source of the phone call. It's in the clean room. I'm waiting for instructions. <laughs> Oh, so that was part of a sentence. She said, 
。他说：“你应凭借勇气来拯救世界。” She said, "You have to use courage to help save the world." Okay, that that was good. The actor though mispronounced two important characters, and because that was part of a sentence, that's why I didn't understand what he said. You need courage. Courage. You need courage. 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 Ma Tai, okay, he was born in Hong Kong. Miss Xie, 来看一下，你认识这个香港演员吗？你认识他吗？我知道，呃，之前那个《尖峰时刻》不是有？哦、oh, ，Rush Hour， 他演谁呀、啊？哦，他是第一部有，第二部没出来。哦、oh, ，我就说我没看到，我只看了第二部。他演的是谁呀、啊？好像是大使馆的。大使馆的人吧，中国大使馆。哦、oh, ，去年那个真人版的花木兰，他演花木兰的爸爸。迪士尼的花木兰，刘、嗯、亦菲那版。对。Okay， 走吧。He's probably more familiar with Cantonese than Mandarin, I guess. Um, Cantonese and the Mandarin are two different languages. They are both Chinese, but they're very different from each other. A lot of people mistake them. Okay, let's go on. Drop the phone now, or we shoot. 战争不讲究英雄。Drop it! Yeah, I'm sorry. This is a fatal shot. Hua Guangmu. You are committing an act of treason. That's very well said. She said, "战争 doesn't save heroes; it only leaves orphans and widows." War doesn't make heroes; only orphans and widows. Orphan Guangmu is a Chinese Chinese idiom. Whoever translated or wrote these Chinese lines obviously know what they are doing. Excellent. Also, this looks like a good film. How come I haven't watched that? Arrival is a sci-fi drama film based on a short story by Ted Chiang. Chinese name Jiang Fengnan. Oh, Loki proud. Is that why all these Chinese lines are so good? Maybe his story has a Chinese version. I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna check out the story and the film later. By the way, if you're into sci-fi novels. Definitely check out the Chinese sci-fi novel *Santi: The Three Body Problem*. It's the best Chinese sci-fi novel ever. There is English versions out there, I'm sure. And、um, the TV series is gonna be out this month, and the movie is gonna be out in 2025. Definitely keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have learned something new. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.